Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. I'm going to stick with the topic of happy stuff, but the beginning of this is going to be a huge downer. Something good came from this huge downer. That's why I'm sharing it in the middle of happy, happy sermons, happy fun times, um, positive Bible messages, and all of that good stuff. I, I'm anxious and happy and excited to be sharing all of these positive messages with you guys. And something happened today where it was like the ending was good, but the beginning was not good at all. But because the ending was good, I was like, you know what? I'm going to share this. Um, it's kind of a, we're right in the middle of a story right now. But right now, despite how bad things are, there is some very, very, very good stuff there. A good friend of mine is going through a divorce. And those just suck. Some people may think divorces are positive and have their positive aspects. From the Christian standpoint, God hates divorce. Um, our commitment to our spouses, one marriage for one lifetime, through better or worse, richer or poor, till death do us part. <clears throat> that is the Christian standard. And it's just, it's an incredibly terrible, ugly situation. Even though you guys don't know the name, I'm not going to go into details. Um, and that way, you know, no one will possibly know who the heck I'm talking about. But he, he's just going through, he's going through hell on earth right now. Now, you're, of course, the thought is, you know, okay, what in the world is positive in the middle of this? This is just plain horrible. My friend, in the middle of this divorce, in the middle of pretty much losing everything, he is totally on fire for God, completely loves Jesus, is going to seminary to become a minister, and he hasn't stopped. He was just starting to do this, and then the divorce hits. He doesn't drop out of seminary or put off the semester. He keeps at it. He keeps going. And we've had several good um, Bible talks and Bible conversations since he's gone into seminary. And we had another one of those good talks tonight, asked him how he was doing, and of course, you know, the answer is miserable in the personal life. Uh, you can be learning some wonderful things from the Bible, and even in the middle of learning those wonderful things, you know, when life throws something at you as heavy as a divorce, for the most part, life is not going to be fun or pleasant. But the man still loves God, he's still committed to Jesus, um, I prayed for him, and he prayed right back for me, and his prayer for me, uh, I told him, I was like, dude, that, that is the best prayer I think you've ever prayed. In the middle of his brokenness, the sweet, the sweet aroma of God's presence is just oozing out. It's just pouring out of him. Um, he's allowing this horrible process to draw him closer to God and not push him away. And if you ever see this video, man, just all the props in the world to you. I'm committed to loving anybody, um, whether it is a current friend, an old friend, um, a stranger on the street. And sometimes in the middle of these experiences, people can turn very bitter. And it's hard to maintain your, your friendship with them, but it is a joy and an honor to not only have been this guy's friends for several years, but in the middle of the hardest part of his entire life to to see God at work in him and to see him drawing closer to Jesus and not going away and to see the Spirit of God literally just coming out through his words, through his actions, through his life. It is, it, it is, it is so beautiful. It is one of the most tragically beautiful things, probably the most tragically beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I know he's going to get through this. And again, once again, if you see this, you're going to get through this. Because God is for you and God is with you. And very, very importantly, you're with God. You just stay right there, buddy. And God's got your back. And he'll make sure that things go your way. And things turn out good in the end for you. Because you have chosen him. You've chosen the better part. And that is precious to God. And guys, that is... That is probably the best possible news I could give you. In the middle of hell, this guy's pursuing God. I've seen divorces before, and I've seen people walk away from God 
in the middle of these things, be it their parents or be it themselves. I've seen them just walk right away from God. And this guy is doing it right. And he's one of my dear friends. I hate what he's going through. And at the same time, I could not be more privileged and more honored to be able to call him friend at this time. And it's not, it's not a forced friendship through his bitterness or hatred. It is a friendship I treasure and cherish, and it is easy to do because he is pursuing God harder through these hard times, and he's getting closer to God through this hell and through this nightmare. And it is, as much as I wish he wasn't going through it, it is beautiful to see him pushing through and overcoming this. Well done, my dude. Well done. Hopefully this was an encouragement to you guys that even in the middle of horrendous situations, you can make it. I am seeing it work. I am seeing it happen right now. And that tells me that if I have to go through some kind of horrible thing in the future, I can make it. And so can you guys. Be encouraged. Be blessed. God is for you, not against you. And if you stay with him, he'll get you through it. And he holds every single one of your tears in his hand. And he doesn't take them lightly. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was encouraging. I love you and God bless.